Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and some interesting news happening on the Marvel front, right? There's always interesting news happening on the Marvel front, but it's it's usually what you don't see that's the most interesting, especially when there appears to be a coordinated effort to downplay this information, which we are going to be talking about. So first things first, what I'm referring to here is the story floating around right now that Mark Ruffalo pitched a Hulk versus Wolverine movie to Kevin Feige. Now reports on this, like I said, some say yes. One specifically says no. None of that really matters to me overall. What we know for a fact is what Mark Ruffalo was talking about in an interview. So according to Slash Film here, who I, I do put a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of faith in Slash Film, they say here that Mark Ruffalo has pitched Marvel more Hulk movies, would like to see Hulk fight Wolverine. Now, that's not necessarily 100% saying that they are going to do a Hulk versus Wolverine movie, but it has been done before. The image on the screen there is from a 2007 animated movie put out by Lionsgate called Hulk versus Wolverine, and it was actually really effing good. So it says here, while a few key Marvel Cinematic Universe heroes ended up uh, ended their journeys in Endgame, not all of them uh, were not all the veteran actors are ready to hang up their tights and capes just yet. Scar Scarlett Johansson's returning for Black Widow. Chris Hemsworth Thor is about to encounter some love and thunder and Jeremy Rayner's Hawkeye is headed to Disney plus and Mark Ruffalo wants to extend the incredible Hulk's tenure in the MCU as well. Now think about as to why that might be mostly because I think Mark Ruffalo doesn't have a lot going on other than these movies, nothing that's going to be as lucrative or as seen by as many people. Chris Hemsworth is quite literally in the exact same boat. It's one of the reasons why Anthony Mackie said that there's really no more movie stars it's actors playing certain characters. Now, at the Tokyo Comic-Con, Ruffalo told the crowd that he had pitched uh, more Mar uh, Mar uh, Hulk movies to Kevin Feige, and he specifically said he wants to see Hulk face off against Wolverine. Uh, you, we can read this. You know, this is what he says. He says, well, Kevin Feige asked me last week if I had any more ideas for the Hulk. Ruffalo explained to the crowd, and I said, yeah, I think there's some so so still some stories I'd like to tell. And he said, well, why don't you come in and tell me about them, and we'll see if we can find a place for you in the Marvel Universe. Now, that to me is an interesting thing, because that shows you, for one, that Feige rewards loyalty. Ruffalo's been around since 2012. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, more like 2010 is when they cast him in the role. So he's been at this game for nine years. He's been in a multitude of movies, hasn't gotten his own solo outing yet. There's a reason for that. A lot of it has to do, actually, with the distribution rights where Marvel apparently owns the film rights, Universal owns the distribution rights in perpetuity, meaning that they'd have to cut in uh, to Marvel's business, to Disney's business, and Disney just doesn't want that. So anytime we see the Hulk going forward, he's going to be in a team-up movie that's not his own movie in order to make sure that uh, that they don't have to give Universal any, any money, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, but now it does say here that those characters have faced off several times in the comics, with the first appearance back in 1974 and more recently in a 2000 limited series written by Damon Lindelof. Uh, and a lot of people out there are, again, really, 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 really wanting to know more about this particular setup. And what we have seen is, quite frankly, uh, uh, some information about this brewing up in the last couple months. Now, I'd like to bring up this screen cap from Mikey Sutton posted August 31st. Where he says, I've been hearing this for a while now, but the smoke is becoming a red hot fire. Marvel Studios is discussing a Wolverine versus Hulk movie. Uh, notice uh, I placed Wolverine ahead. This won't be the Hulk movie because Universal has rights to a Hulk solo, which is why I thought Ragnarok wasn't Planet Hulk. According to my inside sources, they want to use the recent Immortal Hulk rendition of the character in the comic books. Who will be Wolverine or depending on many, how many years it will take, is Mark Ruffalo still the Hulk. And so what is that? Uh, I mean, this is, again, something that's been going on for a while now. Mikey covered this a while back, and, we, and, and obviously it wasn't just recently that Ruffalo was talking to Kevin Feige. So this is where it gets a little bit fascinating, because this is uh, MCUdirect.com, where just yesterday, Jeremy Conrad made sure to run defense, made sure to run uh, to run a little defense here. For some reason, I can't quite figure out, but he post, put an article out that says 
Mark Ruffalo did not pitch Hulk versus Wolverine to Kevin Feige. And when we look at this article here, we can actually see that it's pure unadulterated clickbait because there's literally nothing in there that backs up the headline. Uh, he says here, uh, the Hulk was one of the Avengers to survive the end of it, uh, the events of Endgame. And Kevin Feige has recently said that the chess pieces following that movie were intentionally set up that way. That means they have plans for the people who are still around. We know that Mark Ruffalo was going to talk to Kevin Feige about a role in She-Hulk, but he recently pitched more ideas according to Tokyo Comic-Con, right? And then again, it's that, uh, that same thing I discovered. Now he says, note, despite all the clickbait headlines, Hulk versus Wolverine wasn't one of the ones he pitched. That was the second question that somebody asked in the convention about Hulk versus Wolverine, and he'd like to see that. Still, it's a good to see that Marvel wants to do more of the Hulk, even if a solo movie is unlikely to happen. So even though at that point in time right there, you can tell for you can you can just tell that he's trying to run defense on this. It's such a semantical argument, isn't it? It's a semantical argument. He says, oh, he didn't pitch it because he didn't say that in a quote where he had just admitted to going and talking with Kevin Feige and pitching a bunch of ideas. Hulk versus Wolverine is a very popular idea. It's been a very popular run. People know about it. People like it. There's a whole animated movie there. So I have to find it pretty funny and somewhat just, you know, and I don't want to say 100% disingenuous, but it does feel like Jeremy's running some defense there. And I, and I, and I think I get why. You know, like the dude lives and works in L.A. He understands it, you know, like he's connected uh, and he wants to make it seem like he's got the inside track. But believe what you will about Mikey Sutton. The guy's got some scoops recently that have kind of been more on the borderline of right than not. And I've been talking about them quite a bit for the last couple months because it's interesting to see what's been playing out. So take this for what you will. But my question to you is, do you want to see a live action Hulk versus Wolverine? Do you think it's going to happen if it does happen in the next couple of years? I don't think so. And the reason why I say that is because Mark Ruffalo is getting up there. I think he just turned 50. Uh, they haven't cast a new Wolverine yet. They're still a few years away from that. And there'd literally be like no way to incorporate that into something uh, within the next, I'd say, five to 10 years. Unless we get real lucky and it ends up becoming some kind of Disney Plus show, which could be how they introduce the Wolverine into the MCU. I think Mark Ruffalo is in it for the long haul. And with obviously with uh, with with the mocap technology that they use for Hulk in uh, Endgame, they can keep him around for a lot longer. So we'll have to wait and see. But uh, I do think that this is something that's going to be uh, definitely talked about and was probably pitched. And look, Feige likes event films. He likes setup films. He likes team up films. He knows that the audience really likes that. And giving an audience favorite character, Wolverine, matched up with the Hulk, which is something they don't have to share with Universal. It just seems to print money. Honestly, it does seem to print money. But your thoughts, your opinions, let me know down in the comments below. I will talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day. Please remember to hit like. Let's try to get to like, I don't know, we could get to like 200, I think. And uh, hit that subscribe, smack on that bell, and have a good day, guys. Peace out. This video is supported by patrons like you. If you'd like to become a patron, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Matt Jarbo.